Senator Grassley and I attended the rollout of President Trump's executive order to get the health care industry on the move. Chairman of the Finance Committee, Chairman of the Health, Education, Labor, and Pension Committee, Senators like me, I'm a Main Street entrepreneur, that came to the Senate to discuss issues just like this. I've probably been on the floor more than any other senator, and every time I do it, I tell the industry, wake up. I took you on 10, 11 years ago in my own business to give good health care coverage for my employees. It was a litany, year after year, of your lucky your premiums are only going up 5 to 10 percent this year. You've all heard it before. It took risk. It took some novel thinking. But it can be done. Most entrepreneurs aren't going to put the time I put into it to make it work for my own employees. And when you hear Democrats, Republicans, three or four committees, the President of the United States, talking about a health care system that is broken, you should get it through your thick head that there need to be changes made. It shouldn't be coming from Congress, even though it will keep coming. I think the message is out loud and clear. Wake up, start fixing these things, or you're going to have a business partner, his name is Bernie Sanders, and another idea of Medicare for all, that we'd regret it once we got it. But like most things here, like most big problems in this country, we wait too long to solve the issue. I'm going to give you a few things what led me to be passionate about it. When I had to give up my own company's good health insurance, I had a very generic prescription to get renewed. Eight pharmacies in the little town of Jasper, roughly, so I knew I'd be able to get quotes. Um, I had no health insurance. I was in between being a CEO of a company and a senator. I said, I'm going to try to see what this is going to be like. I knew it should cost 20, 25 bucks, maybe a little less. First place I called, stumbled around, couldn't even give me a quote on a common prescription. Finally, after about three to four minutes, $34.50. Called another place that I thought would be a little quicker on its feet, took 10 seconds, and got a quote for $10, and said, by the way, you can pick it up in 10 minutes. That's more the way the rest of the economy works, but healthcare consumers have gotten used to not doing any of that heavy lifting themselves. And believe me, the industry has evolved from big pharma to big hospital chains to the health insurance industry, which is in the middle of all of it. Things called pharmacy benefit managers, where the drug companies give them $150 billion worth of rebates. And through their costs and profits, less than half of that makes it to the consumer or to the pharmacy. The case is out there. We as senators, Congressmen on the other side shouldn't need to be getting on the floors of our chambers to tell you the obvious. If you don't do these things, I don't believe we here, at the speed at which we normally operate, can do it quickly enough for you to save yourself from that other business plan, which is Medicare for all. So what do we do to prevent that? The industry, number one, should be out there doing what all other companies do. Be transparent. Where, in any other part of our economy, do you not ask and have plenty of information to work with, what does it cost and what is the quality? I know where I live, people would drive 60 miles to save 50 bucks on a big screen TV that costs 1000 bucks. When I instituted a plan in my own business that encouraged my employees to do that, to have skin in the game, amazing things happened. Every time you pick up the phone or get on the web and look for that comparison, it's kind of hard to find, but it's there. The industry just needs to give more of it, 
and not hide behind a system that has benefited them. When we created that in my own business, people shop around for prescriptions and routinely save 30 to 70 percent as they do on MRIs, CAT scans, and most other procedures. I put the time and effort into it. Most CEOs, and you always hear about employees are happy with their employer provided insurance. That's because the employers are generally paying for anywhere from 85 to 100 percent of it. So folks working somewhere don't really have skin in the game. So consumers of health care need to do what they do in all other industries and all other things that they buy. Take the time to ask how much does it cost, what is the quality, and then the industry get with it so that we can fix the system before the other option actually takes place. There aren't enough CEOs, there aren't enough legislators to, I think, get the industry in shape, and the industry itself knows what these problems are. Get with it before you have a different business partner that you won't like. Thank you. I yield the floor.